Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a campaign, a new campaign really, in Old World Blues A to Z in which we're playing against the Broken Coast, led by Graven, a warmonger, as well as a cruel tyrant, our ancestors. The British Columbia was filled with all sorts of before the Great War and its survivors were less complex. Indeed, the pirates of the Broken Coast have all, have all sorts of ancestries, but none of them are better off for it. They all stared down to the bottom half, empty beer flasks, and wish for better days. Eventually, they all throw their caps on the counter at the top, grab the weapon, and head back to the endless wipe, the Great Blizzard. Back in Redbeard's day, there was a blizzard so fierce that none but the, he dared to sail on its winds. It clouded the sky for years. It stacked the coast with more snow than ever before or since, and it killed thousands. They say that wind howled with the fury of the dead, but Redbeard, that crazy dude, never once got so much as frostbite. Well, it's a former pirate captain and the owner of the Captain Cash Bar in Coover. Cool. After the Great War, the natural protection of the mountainous coast became home to a group of which all others adapted to the culture. Some marines from before the war, stationed defending from the invading Chinese, survived in the mountains after the bombs fell. Various vessels, finding themselves stranded, and it became shelter against the harsh winds for winters for the crews. Natives of the land, previously under occupation, also gained the freedoms here after the bombs fell. All these people formed the fabric of the people of the broken coast. But the first group from which all others were assimilated were natives of the coast, U.S. Marines. That sounds pretty good. Sailors from foreign shores. Spotting speed. Oh, that's not bad. I, I like natives. Just cause, uh, we could use a population. Why we fight. Money has always ruled the broken coast, much like how the waves dash against its jagged rocks with fury, so too are many hopes and da dreams dashed by pirates simply looking for the next paycheck. Do the people of broken coast enjoy the endless conflict that their way of life provides? Maybe. But perhaps if they are offended, offered an alternative, they might consider it. After all, everyone wants to retire eventually. The Great Blizzard. After the bombs fell, the effects did not leave. A great blackness engulfed the sky, blocking out the sun and casting a great blizzard upon the people on the coast. Many died in the cold, the corpses freezing from the extreme cold in a matter of minutes. Out of the ashes, the people born of cru cruelty managed to survive by fleeing the storm in hopes of returning, uh, building shelter out of pre-war vessels, bearing the storm only the fittest survived. Well, this one seems probably the best. The moot. Graven the Cruel received his title for a reason. Even by the standards of a nation of raider pirates, his methods are particularly sadistic and cruel. His right-hand man, Ragnar, is much more modern in line with his former leaders of the coast. Amut has been called to summon together the coast and challenge Graven's authority. He'll have decided the future of our nation. Bets are already being placed, and why we fight. Our ancestors fought and bled for the broken coast. The old ways are going, to, going and the new ways will lead us glory. But we need to focus on building ourselves up. What should we focus on? Slaves? Ooh, or wealth? Oh! We want the population. I might just go full population for this one. I love the uh, involuntary servants. Yeah. Keeping up pace. Division fence or attack. Salvage tossers. Oh, that's not bad. Uniting steel. Raiders of the coast. Scum and villainy. Has to be tw after 2280. Ooh. Rite of passage. To the great beyond. Nice. Um, but I have played the Broken Coast before, and we didn't go with Ragnar the Mighty before. So, wow. 5% recruited pop population. Holy crap. And they went with a duel, too. Jesus, that looks really strong. Um, build a fleet. That looks really awesome, actually. <clears throat> but we're going to go with Graven the Cruel. Uh, stories <clears throat> of Graven's adventures as a young man are savage and chilling. His rise of power became increasingly bloodier, and his ascent to the head of the coast was punctured by the slaughter of the innocent. The betrayer's mood has invited rage into his heart, consuming what little remained of his humanity. Nothing will hold him back now. Graven's fury will echo across the wasteland forever. And get way more pop, uh, political power and political, uh, group of population. Nice. Build a ship and slave this opposition. Nice. That's... So basically, you do get 5% overall mo uh, population here as well, compared to just flat 5% there. You get more stability, a lot more stability, but you get more political power, so... Honestly, this one's better, in my opinion. Uh, but in the meantime, we can tributize everybody, in which we will. Rejected, rejected, ah, Camlo, rejected, rejected. Where is Camlo? Oh, right there. No, they're right in front of us. Um, can we actually raid, like, these guys, maybe? You have a scavenger program? Sure. Uh, we're going to remove tribute to broken, due to broken coast. Go to that one too. Make a purchase with caps. Nice. Grave and the Cruel. Yes. Deadland declared white side. Oh, yes, please. The Moot. 
Graven roared on protest as the moot began. His hands clenched tightly around the axe of his belt. It was time to vote for a new ruler, or so they said. The moot had been organized and secured by a group of disgruntled captains, and now they called upon any and all within the meeting ground to oppose Graven. Ragnar stepped up, causing the gathered raiders to erupt into chaos. And the time of a man planted his axe into the frozen earth. I'll stand against Graven, as he is no longer fit to rule. A chill descended upon the girls gathered as they watched Graven, his t grip tightening as murderous intent burned behind his eyes. Graven's victory in the moot was to be expected. Of course. Of course. Uh, let's see. Political power gain. I, I mean, I, we'll probably go with that one immediately. Solidify authority. <coughs> Blood. Blood was the only word he could use to describe the week after the moot. Um, a grave and truly unhinged by what he saw as a grave's betrayal person took to the streets and seas to hunt down almost every man and woman who voted against him. As co hunt continues, but the damage is already done. Never again will the people of the camp of the coast question Graven's authority over them for fear of his wrath. So for right now, we can raid them, but, okay, so that's one. Okay, so down here, you do get the ability to call the arms, the frozen cabal, camel raiding parties, um, we get a war with them, raiding Avalon Bleak, return of the terror, silver tongue diplomacy, guarantee, we'll probably return of the terror, breaking the conquered, new Victoria, okay, so we do get everyone around here eventually, the dredgers, um, Coover, Washington Brotherhood. So we can go through here. Um, if we get to these guys, then we can do war, war of the Silex Nation. So we can kind of hang out and wait real quick first before we really go to war with anybody. Um, become inspirational if you're not already. Oh, he's an invader. Ambitious. Naval liaison. Improved expert. That's not bad, too. Logis oh, they actually had logistics visit here. I never knew that. I never scrolled down, so now I know. Interesting. Um, the practice raid. Light... Lights across the water. The lights of the new Victoria dazzle across the water, whispers of fortune and fame. The times comes to grasp the fortunes of fame for ourselves, they decide to raid new Victoria. Raiding is simple. <clears throat> you point a gun at some defenseless person to make them hand over the valuables. Raiding over water against a hostile nation? That's not quite as easy. Fortunately, we have a small, relatively weak nation in the form of the Hyder Confederation. Just off our coast, let us practice raiding ants, our raiding arts on them to give us a better shot at raids against new Victoria. 3% failure. So, that looks pretty cool to do. Um, the sight of her ships on the northern uh, horizon strike fear into the, even the bravest of men. From the farthest part of the endless wide, the warmer southern waters, our raids are spoken of in hushed whispers and fearful voices. Raiding is an act that will likely incur an aggressive response from our target. We can escalate our raids into a larger complex and eventually into war. Raid them. What did we do that one? Could we do okay here? Industry planning, nice. All right, so great and the cruel aggressive attack will probably we might oh that's minus five percent HP. Mad mad raise will probably do that one. Um, required guessings is good too. More breakthroughs also very good too. Um, so we have ruler and we're gonna stay with the ruler here too. Uh, faithful henchman, that's okay. I mean, that's not bad. Compliance growth is very good. And I guess technically that does give you more daily command power, but that's not very great. Ohm's Law. Daily political power plus 0.12 is not terrible. Interesting. But let's continue with this. Thank you. And thank you. Ooh. So what are we at? We are at infantry, aircraft, naval vessels. We're pretty basic on everything. Uh, we're in a meeting on robotics. Robotics, local opposition. A race can be a struggle. Uh, this raid is no exception. We have marked resistance from the local population in forms of militias, even just semi-professional armed units. In the instance of this raid, our just just our small raiding parties won't cut the mustard. We need a larger dedication of forces to the region to crush the resistance and claim the blood is roughly ours. Our new stations appear that allow us to escalate our current raid into a border conflict. Oh. Start a border war. Grave that cruel. Solidify authority. And save the opposition. 
Graven returned to Coover, the helm of the ship adorned with the decapitated heads of his lesser enemies. Ragnar knelt, knelt there on the frozen dock, put in shackles weeks before by Graven himself. To witness the return of everyone he loved, coming back to port as rotting trophies. Ragnar is a broken man, a trophy commander for Graven, a fierce reminder that even the strongest can oppose him. Okay, so we're actually doing it up here. Interesting. Huh. Escalate the border conflict. It's 1v1, we should do okay. Oh, I guess it's 3v1, okay. We should do we do, should do fine, right? It is a forest, but still. It's a good language, nice. Tribal, huh? More caps can come, yeah, that's fine. If we went fast enough before they came up here. Hey, border conflict's over! Great news from the front. The border clash is now over and we've won. Enemy forces can be seen retreating before our impressive show of force. The Sanford's at last enjoyed the loot we so richly deserve. Remove no progress in th Silver Throne. We would feast tonight. We get a, quite a bit of good stuff and a civilian workshop. Um, so let's get, we might as well do this one. So. I thought Ragnar died. Oh well. I kind of want to raid again, not going to lie. I kind of like raiding. How much political power do we get today? 0.97, which is not great. Enslave him, call to arms. Every unit leader add to attack. <clears throat> it's a bit of war sport. Let's enslave the opposition. Martial contest. That's pretty good. Enslave opposition with martial wife. Trophy wife. Wow. 30% more political power. More recruitable population just by World Goals times versus martial contest, more attack and defense. You know, I'll let you guys say, should we do Trophy Wife, which I kind of want to do instead of the other one? Trophy Wife seems awesome. Or should we do martial contest? Uh, but let me know which one we should do in the comments below. That sounds really awesome. Dredgers, huh? <clears throat> or should I say Dredgers? There you go. But the call to arms, Grand Palace, not bad. Uh, throughout the broken coast, pirates gather in dignity taverns and upon the decks of their ships, bickering about the letters delivered to each of them. The broken coast has caught upon all of them. Uh, 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 all its pirates are repaid their debts to the state. Great conquests lie ahead, and any man who participates will be part of his former crimes, or so they say. Many men would die for such an opportunity. Nice. Uh, it seems like probably asymmetric warfare is probably the best one for us to do. That makes the most sense. Robots, no refined warfare, no conventional warfare. Well, we're not very conventional. Asymmetric probably is the best one. They keep updating this, so I don't know exactly what's like here. But I don't. I hate wasteland knowledge. I don't like using militia. Militia is it's, it's somewhat tough to use. The locals are not bad. Because the locals include who? Infantry? No, they don't. Yeah, we use mostly just infantry, so... Recovery max, entrenchment goes down. Um, Cazador of Venom is actually very pretty good. It's pretty decent. Now this one, yeah, it's just okay. Deathclaw Ferocity. Animal Observation is a gang. Wasteland Intuition. I don't know. I'm probably still going to go with uh, Conventional Warfare. <clears throat> just because... Uh, it just makes more sense. Guerrilla Warfare Mass is also win the day. It just makes more sense to go with... Uh, with Asymmetric from where we're at right now, but I just don't know. I don't know. What, when you play World War Blues at the time it's, they're recording, what do you like to use? Do you ever use Wasteland Tactics under uh, Asymmetric Warfare? Because mine's always updating and being refined. Or, it just wouldn't make any sense to do refined warfare or automated warfare, obviously, or even out, outside of warfare. It makes some sense, too, but we don't really have uh, behemoths so or mutants. So I'm probably going to go with conventional, but... Frontline platoons, more organization initiative, fire teams, demo equipment, which we will get that eventually. Standard infantry. So I mean, I like this one, but I don't use really use enforcers. In the meantime,
Grab his marauders, yeah. Because we're going to add a lot of attack to everybody here. Skill leader experience gain. Skill leader bonuses, though. Charismatic, strong, reckless, intelligent. Look all position, throw it behind it. So they have bots. Trying to beat up bots is going to be very difficult. Not sure if we can actually do that or not. Success, failure. Organizing agriculture is good. We'll save. If it doesn't go well, then we'll do it. second here and well let's try it yeah I don't know I don't think we can really puncture through them that armor is a bit too tough yeah not a good look for us not good at all Successful raid against the High Confederation. Bodies litter the village. Bodies litter the beach. The raids against the High Confederation were carried out without mercy, and our men, uh, men, our men are experiencing raiding over the seas as well as the land. This knowledge will surely become indispensable when they return to raiding New Victoria, who will surely be better defended than this irrelevant island chain. The reasons for the continued existence of the High Confederation are slim, so now is the time to ask them outright. That doesn't sound too bad to me. They have generic focus right? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, we can tributize them as well. I do want to raid Camlo or Whistler or Dressers? Camlo. Whistler. Whistler. Tributize. Yeah. Uh, we got 50. Raid the Nomads up here. Oh, do we take the. Hmm. We could do that again. I kind of like that. Get ready. I'm going to raid and hopefully make sure we get some anti tank from here on out, too. Because really the only technology upgrades we have, or I guess not even upgrades, they're just attack levels are infantry, robotics, which is weird, and naval vessels. Everything else is kind of crap for us, which sucks. But we're the Frozen Cabal. For far north of Cooper, near the frigid border between the coasts and the dredgers, a Frozen Cabal holds court and fortress of twisted ice and steel. The ranks are filled with ghouls who are on the so on one who are one with the endless wide, and the ancient pirates have seen too much. The gods say the coast many times in the past will continue to do so long, in, uh, long into the future. Their mere existence makes us all of us safer. Camel raiding parties. Camel is a little more than coalition and raider gangs flying the same flag. The leader is a little more than an unusually smart raider. Camp pushers and slavers drive, <clears throat> or thrive, in the camel's borders, so we'll hit them uh, where it hurts. The previous jet and medex stockpiles will go up in flames and their slaves will be slaughtered. Camel will begin to collapse under the weight of its own addictions. And yes, we are very addicted. Alright, to local opposition, of course. Construction speed, piercing, um, acclimatization factor is not bad, but grab that one. Ah. Move, 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 move. Joel Warren, not bad. A couple days left. Still building some more civvies, not bad. Um, we have enough command by now. We could probably upgrade somebody here. Leader experience gain is not bad. Skill bonuses, PE, EC. More attack, that's pretty good overall, too. I like that one, too. Thorn the Reaper. Congrats on the promotion, sir. We're still going to be inspirational, though. Alright, let's try it. 4v1. Now we get some reinforcements soon too, but still. Frozen Cabal. So now they have two divisions, but their organization's going down. We've got thrown in five divisions in total too. 
Not a terror. <coughs> Raiders only respect one thing: strength. We know this is a broken coast. It's a much raider. It's much a raider nation's camp, though. Camel's already begun to retaliate against a raid, so it's time to show them how real raiders act. A campaign of carnage shall spread throughout Camelot tonight. Drugged up raiding parts will tear their throats out of raiders with their bare teeth. The scalping slaves for fun as the screams fill the air. Okay, now it's definitely a much more of a struggle here. You uh, are also going to be inspirational. You're going to learn how to become a ranger. If we can't hear, win here, then that's really dumb. Should be able to win against three things of militia. They're only militia for the love of God. I guess I do a five division total raiding Camelot. Uh, oh. Send a few raiding parties into Camelot to burn and loot their storehouses. I'll, we'll use whatever we have, they have against them. Send the raiding parties. And that's four. Since we're here. Um, compliance growth speed is something we, we will definitely need. More breakthrough would be nice. We can use that right now, honestly. Organization, transference speed, resistance growth. Organization, and just five war goals times. But I'll probably go down here and grab the golden gecko. Breaking Camelot. Without the precious cams, the remaining readers of Camelot cannot keep their paranoia at bay any longer. Instability fed by the night of our pure brutality so fresh in their minds. As Camelot begins to collapse under the weight of its own degenerate population, we will strike, crushing the suffering and insane hordes of raiders, putting them all to the sword rather than letting them suffer any longer. Bruh, I don't understand how we're losing. I hate infantry. Don't ever use infantry. It's such garbage. Losing here is just, that's just a bunch of BS. That is such a bunch of BS. They can come back and defend, but we cannot continue to attack? Bruh. Get your butt back in there. That's incredibly stupid, but it was good for army XP. So I'm going to raid and kill them all off if we possibly can. Oh my god, come on. Come on, before Do better than this. This is stupid. Uh, go Campaign to terror. Sending men in the net to burn villages and leave the heads of the villagers outside for all to see. That's the way of the coast. Don't ever uh, sleep again. Come on. Basic training appointments. Basic hygiene. Good. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. Would you get over there? Come on. Breaking Camlo. Not for contest. Why do this? We could probably start working more on arms factories. That'd be nice. Slaves. Even more population. Resource fascists again. Plate warriors, educated pirates. That'd probably be pretty good to do overall. Or arms workshops, tossers, educated pirates, too. Hmm. Wow, 50% consumer goods. To host new technologies once it runs out, elevating them to civilized. Savage to salvage tossers, savage tossers. The raiders of Brook Ghost can make anything into a weapon. Seems to be doing slightly better now. Learning how to become a ranger still. Until we go to war with them, of course. All right, well, I guess we're going to break them anyways. So now... Silver Dining Diplomacy, Raiding Alvin Bleak. Let's go with Salvage Tossers. We can just take Whistler and circle these guys and destroy them. Here we might just be able to do that. Potentially. Fuel boy, huh? Conventional warfare, of course. Anything here? Level 5 Ragnar? No. Infrastructure standardization is nice. 
Need to learn more output. Yeah. Well, let's go to war. Screw it. Oh, what's her? Oh, it's supposed to go to with Cam, aren't we? That's right. Oh, wow. 16, up to 16 divisions, huh? What is there? Alvin? No. Whistler. Breaking Whistler. Whistler. Uh, Raiding Alvin Bleak. Whistler's an ancient refugees all moved fled the, since the rise of Camlo. With the former homes lost to them, their spirits are broken. The people of Whistler are hanging on by thread. We'll burn Alvin Bleak to the ground and die of the snow red with the blood of the warriors. Whistler. Well, remember the terrors of the invaders and realize too late that running towards us was worse than staying with Camlo. Yeah, pretty much. Need more guns, though. Get up to 9 or 10, and then we will throw on some demo equipment. That'd be nice. And tank rifles, too. Very nice. Savage tossers, good. Rating oven bleak. Slowly working towards there. And then what's next? Saws. I guess we could probably make saws. <clears throat> Military command. Population would be so nice though. Required garrisons is pretty decent too. Faithful henchmen. Uh, power broker. More stability. Political power. How much do we get right now? 1.4. You know what? We'll go with Power Broker. We'll need that political power later on. Return of the Terror. Wizard's forests are filled with frozen corpses left preserved by the forest or frost. Their faces forever twisted in agony, horror as they collapse. Wounds long since frozen over. What little remained of Wizard's spear has been stomped out by us, and now the lands are ripe for the taking. Wizard's remaining population will be thankful for arrival, even if they themselves don't realize it yet. Um, I guess torpedoes? Lots of torpedoes, I guess? I don't know. I usually like using that with my subs. We're still not there yet, huh? That's where this rating thing is taking forever to try to achieve. How strong are these guys? With sort of five to ten divisions, they're running out of manpower. Rating Alvin Bleak. Alvin Bleak slumbered uh, softly in the night. <clears throat> As a snowstorm whipped itself into a, to a frenzy. <coughs> The sound of wind drowning out the disorganized scramble of raiders encroaching into the settlement. The peace was broken by the sound of smashing glass, an unmistakable roar and crackle of the flames, and the screams of women and children as they woke to the blinding light of an inferno. Those who managed to resist were cut down in the dead of night, the children watching from the shadows with tears in their eyes. It would have been a mercy to kill the survivors after the flames died down, but pirates don't deal in mercy. Pirates deal in plunder and loot, and it was no surprise that the only thing left Alvin, left Alvin Bleak intact were valuables that would fetch a high price. Sleep tight. After that one, tools of the waste, educated pirates. A wise man once said, give a lever large enough and I will uproot the sun for you. Today, this wise man is a little more than broken char bones. But he spoke true when he was flesh and blood. If we want to uproot the wise man from his pitiful state, then therefore expand the coast, we need a very large lever. Technology. Breaking Whistler. Tramping through the snowy forest of Whistler on a clear and crisp morning, our men searched for more soldiers to kill. Soon after a raid on the Alvin Bleak, Whistler organized their meager army to launch a counterattack, and our forest was met in a forested area along our border. This is the forest we patrolled for the last few mornings, a forest carpeted by fro dead frozen bodies preserved in their final moments of agony. It'll take a long, long time for these sorts of faces to vanish. Whistler's on the verge of collapse soon, and we'll send our demands. Become part of a nation, or we'll kill what's left to you. Really foolish to refuse. Nice job. The border conflict is over. Great news from the enemy front. The border clash is over, and we've won. Even though it took like months, enemy forces can be seen retreating before our impressive show force. And it's time for us to enjoy the loot we so richly deserve. Nice. We'll feast tonight. But now we got to deal with this as well, which does kind of suck. But hey, we made it out in the end, and that's the most important thing, I guess. Anything here interesting? Um, no. Improvisation expert would not be bad. You know what? Moving bonus lands only ten percent, but it's better than nothing. So now we can go to war with Camel, we really wanted to. So you six, like head over here. And then you guys, is there another waterway around here? Yeah, there is. This one too? There's only two ways in and out uh, between here and Camel, so. I'll let you guys go and do that, do this, go and do that as well. Which would be nice. Plenty of political power though. Uh, educated pirates, perhaps? Yes, that's good. And then breaking in the conquer. We need to go to war with Camelot next. We need, so we can court them. 
Where the leaders and loved ones left dead in the snow, the citizens of Camelot and Worcester have nothing left but despair. Weak as they are, the truly broken are like putty. They can be molded into any shape you desire. We'll take these scraps left in our wake and convert them to new tapestry of blood and conquest. Fun. Raiders of the Coast, igniting steel. As time we get our factories up and running, we need guns for wars and we have the slaves to make them. Slaves of the Coast. Our warriors are too busy raiding and plundering uh, to work at home. We must bring in more slaves to work the pathetic jobs. For salvaging the ruins. It's time we send some slaves into the big ruins to find anything we can use. Expanding the steel. Now that we have basic forges up, it's time we commit more slaves to the forge. This will increase our output greatly. Which would be a fantastic thing to do. Um, what else do we have here? Doggos? Get some doggos. We like the doggos. How much do you guys actually win there? You guys should be able to win right here if they have only one division. Um... Should be able to do okay. I'm actually going to send half of you guys to link up here. You should be able to get her done. Or if it's only one division. Ooh, Eureka! Yeah, I'll accept help. Eureka! Yeah. You, on the other hand, you're inspirational. You need thinking or a uh, mysterious stranger. I never really, really use that much whenever I play Fallout myself, but whatever. Dam Busters, Faithful Henchmen, Compliance Growth Speed. That's important. Slaves, Slave Flogger. The 3% is so good though. Garrison's is not bad. I definitely don't want to do that one. Garrison's, recovery rate goes down. Oh, we need the population. We're going to grab them anyways. Every cap for the army we get to do next as well. Nice. Scavenging efforts, cool. Uh, this one, ooh, more compliance. Let's go with that. Are they actually attacking over the front? <clears throat> they are. They're regulars. They're literally just infantry. Okay. And we wanted to wait so we can go to every cap for the army. Beautiful. Oh, Raiders of the Coast. Keeping up the pace. Well, igniting steel. Go ahead. Spread out as best you can. How many divisions they got? Up to 17. So, oh, are they fighting these guys too? No. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you're not crazy. Go crazy. You can find them, circle them, kill them all off that way. It's for the best. Tax hiding confederation, yes. Um, after igniting steel, expanding steel, put them to work. Now they're the slaves. Uh, we need to put them to work. Starting with the repairing any iron joke we could possibly use and build the purifiers. For too long, people suffer from dehydration from the lack of clean water. No longer will this decree will start construction of a series of great purifiers. Bringing in the conquered, yes. Yeah. That'd be great. Drums of war, huh? Igniting steel. Awesome. Even more population? So, oh, say so, say so. Start going for the VP, because we'll probably need to fight the Silex Nation eventually, too. Alki Ferry. Hey! Look at all these divisions being circled. One, two, three, four divisions. It's not a ton, but it's still better than nothing. It's only quite a bit. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep some nice warm as well. Nice. Battle plans. Six. Take heart. <clears throat> Well, they might actually encircle us here, maybe. You know, go there first. You can encircle those two divisions. Or at least one division. For now, at the very least. Steel. Nice. Head on up. And there you go. Another division encircled. Even though our own division is encircled too, so you hold. Force defense. Unlikely marriage. Oh. You, on the other hand, might want to break out this way, too. If possible. Eureka's still down here. They should be able to help out a little bit more than what they're doing, but whatever. <clears throat> a good old stump lake, eh? Getting closer. Up out. You don't have to lose Camelot itself, that's fine. Uh, building purifiers, put them to work. The uh, coast treasure. 
Pirates like they are buried treasure. Our land is steel. We need steel to work forges and slaves to the coast. Uncover this valuable treasure. Poor cove. Our old skull is one of our minor cities, but it can grow but we can grow it by putting a port within it. It'll become a major trading port for our people. Elite slaves. We need to pick the best slaves that we, that we have to work in our factories. This will increase our production greatly. Nice, we did free them. In the end, we did free them. We need more divisions on the side. We've lost 118 versus almost 1,000. That's not bad. Honestly, go here to here. If you can move fast enough, that'd be great. Do that and circle them. Honestly, we're going to go with this one. Less recovery rate, but like, I would push them harder, maybe. So much more strength does Camel have? A little bit of manpower, up to 9 divisions. They have no infantry equipment. Of course, we have no manpower, but you know, whatever. Alright, and beloved leader, more organization, yes. Even more organization is good. Do this and circle those guys over there, that'd be great. Um, if you have no one else, you just go here, 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 if you possibly can. I kind of doubt you'll be able to get there in time, but whatever. Put them to work. Good. Blessed steel. Our steel is surely blessed by some higher power. We can build more forges than anyone owned before us. We'll destroy all those who stand against us. And slave rights. With some of your slaves dying from this treatment, the slaves are trying to get restless. Uh, instituting more restrictions on how the war is treated, the slaves will keep the workforce strong. And Canadian pipelines. We recently found old pipelines used by Canada before the war. We can salvage them. we will give us a great boon to our resources. And circle is good. Some serious damage is going on here, huh? Oregon less losses are, are always a good thing. It's going pretty good right here, too. Saws and dogs. One v one over there. That's fine. What else do we have? Victory bomb vulnerability. Elite slaves. More piercing. That's pretty good to get as well. Those are the wastes. Found old cash tools hidden within the old shipwreck. Nice. Hey, look at this. That looks pretty good. Good. Now once you start like just running out and grabbing all the VPs. Or just go and circle this guy over here, too. Where's the capital? Ah, Port Nelson, huh? Nelly Belly. But we're out of infantry equipment, which makes sense. We're starting a lot. We've got a special equipment, a Hellfighter, too. That's pretty good. Oh wow, they look very, uh, very weakened. MacArthur Detachment. Pretty far away to get a Port Nelson, that's okay though. Nice. Crossroads, Klepto Seth. Very good. Duels of the Waste. Beautiful. And of course, Blue River would be it now, too. Come on. now because we took all the territory, whatever. I'll keep them in place for now. How many days would they have? 85. Independence is guaranteed by Coover, but they go to war with us. They don't need to come in.
Camelot's kind of tough to beat. The divisions are not difficult. It's just the terrain sucks, but which makes sense. After all. My god, how much more do we need? This is ridiculous. Start forcing it. Thank God, Jesus Christ, I took way too long. Oh no, those VPs. Kind of insane. Spring in the north. Out of recent victories over enemies, our informants have discovered that this time other nations seem to have noticed. Recently, gathering of the most major factions of the North's, uh, North's leadership was called upon, and what we've gathered, the topics mutually def mutual defensive actions. And yet, for some reason, we're not invited. The details, details of the deal will be hammered out in the next two weeks. For now, we wait. We do nothing. This will do nothing to save them. Oh boy. Oh boy. They still want to go to war with us, though, so we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, more bomber attack. Need some planes. More organization is so good, and that's different than this one. Which this makes more sense, but more organization. Because you always have someone like this. Yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow. I'll see what we got else we can do with a broken ghost. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.